New this morning, several homes go up in flames. Dozens of people are now homeless after a fire ripped through several buildings in Mount Vernon. The flames gutted the homes and sent three firefighters to the hospital. CBS 2's Magdalena Doris joins us live from the scene with the details. Magdalena, good morning. Good morning, Janelle and Andrea. Mount Vernon firefighters are arriving back on scene this morning, this time to go inside of this charred building and search for any evidence that this fire was set intentionally. Right now, this blaze is being labeled as suspicious. Flames shooting out of windows on South Terrace Avenue. Fire battling against the spray of firefighter hoses as residents ran for safety last night. We have to kick off the door because the door was stuck. And I had to grab the kids and everybody and get out. Anastasia watched her home reduced to a blackened shell of what it was, running out without shoes. Nothing. No clothes. Nothing. At around 11.30, flames jumped from the house where the fire started to the two homes next door. Residents say the apartments inside were overloaded. And our apartment is 14 people. Mount Vernon Mayor Richard Thomas. This is why Mount Vernon has an aggressive attack on quality of life. Um, illegal rooming houses, um, illegal subdivisions and homes create life safety issues for our fire police as well as families that live in these um, you know, illegal units. Firefighters from four neighboring towns rushed to the scene to contain the flames, which took over four hours to extinguish. The cause is still under investigation this morning as 43 people are without a place to stay. The fire is suspicious at this time and it's under investigation. It was bad. People get bad, yeah. Now they don't have no place to live for everybody there. Back here live, firefighters again are going through these charred out homes now to look for any suspicious uh, activity or see if there's any gas cans or uh, accelerants inside of these homes because, again, this is being labeled as suspicious. As for those people who were displaced, the Red Cross is putting them up at the Mount Vernon Armory for now. We're live in Mount Vernon, Magdalena Jaris, CBS 2 News. All right, Magdalena, thank you.